Hey y'all, so today we're going to be looking at two Second Life Christmas Sims. This is Bridgewood, as you guys saw. Um, when I tell you Christmas and Halloween Second Life pops out, like, the lands are so well decorated. It's, it's just, it's amazing. I like to do things in Second Life that I knew, that I know I wouldn't do in real life. I wouldn't walk in uh the snow even if it was warm because i don't want to i don't want my feet wet and i don't want my boots wet and all of that stuff so it's like i get to do a lot of the things that i either haven't done in real life yet or don't want to do in real life and i get to do them in second life and what's crazy is like when you do something in second life well for me when i do something in second life that i um wouldn't want to do in real life it's like you get i get a little bit of fulfillment out of that like i don't uh i, I went christmas tree shopping one time maybe twice in my life i was cold both times i was ready to go all of the trees looked alike to me for the most part but it's like but i could do this in second life and it's it's scenic it's it's very visually pleasing and stuff like that so you know, that's why I like Second Life for most of uh, many different reasons. This place, like, look at this, y'all. Look how they got these horses in these stables. And I think these horses you could ride. This might not be the version that you can ride that's out because people be real ignorant. But it's just people created this place. It wasn't something that was, like, set up like this. And then people just came and started enjoying it. It's like everyday people. Uh who people probably don't even know that they get down like this when it comes to creating in virtual worlds it's crazy look at this look how beautiful this is they're all their land is always decorated so nicely so at blue finch i love me a good guided tour and blue finch has a guided tour but i have to find it it's not like right when you land which i can appreciate because it kind of it makes you walk around which i was gonna do anyway but i like how they always have like these little nooks and crannies that you can go into on some lands and um just look inside the houses like they'll decorate houses for you to just come and look into but then there are some lands like briarswood um they had um rentals so you couldn't just like go in wherever you want to go in. Plus the majority of it was occupied. So it was more just like a walking around the neighborhood type thing. Speaking of walking around, I feel like for Blue Finch, a guided tour is nice. But I feel like nothing, nothing gives you the best views in my opinion other than um, walking it. But I do enjoy a good guided tour. So this guided tour took you around like the whole Sam that they had. Beautiful. Like when I tell you, it's like these people be like, oh, well, you know, I do something totally different from this to Second Life. You you learn how to mesh. You came up with the times in Second Life with the grass. It's amazing. Second Life is such a, a cool place to just come and chill. Yeah, you, you can get mixed up in some drama, but do your best to not get mixed up in no drama because drama is here. This for anybody who on SL they want the uh, blue finch information so look i was like oh i want to keep it on this track a lot of times you can't get on the train look how cute this is well this this song do something to me even though the words is crazy i think it's the beat look at this y'all completely unrealistic two fireplaces but it looks cute so it's it's okay Those are the two Sims for today, so I will see you guys next time.